Cancers and welcome back to my channel Women Moon Tarot. So Cancer, I am here to do your daily love update my darlings. Um, this reading is for the collective. It is not going to resonate with all of you so please just take what does resonate and throw out what doesn't resonate, okay? Just don't, don't try to force any reading into your world, okay Cancers? And I love you guys so much, so, so much. Thank you so much for backing me, man. And just, we're, we're growing this channel together. Don't you understand? We are growing it together. It's amazing. Thank you so much, Cancer, for everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. So, Cancer, I have a song for you guys, a song that's in my head. Um, it's, uh, it's pink, right? Um, the artist's name is pink and it's, um, nobody knows, nobody knows the rhythm of my heart, the way I do when I'm lying in the dark and the world is asleep. I think nobody knows. Nobody knows, nobody knows but me. So like, yeah, I feel like somebody is really sad, especially at night. Um, I don't know if it's you or your person, but um, seriously, it's been rolling in my head now for like an hour. Um, somebody wants to talk, though. I feel like you guys maybe both feel this way, very much alone, but um, but you're okay with it, though. Um, someone could also have a, a secret. Baby, the secret's safe with me. There's nowhere else in the world that I would rather be. I, I feel like, yeah, it's a song called Nobody Knows by Pink. And I can't get it out of my head today. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't feel like you're um, feeling really super sad. If, if you are, you're at the tail end of it. And I feel like um, if that's your feelings in the song, you're, you're feeling also a bit empowered too. Um, but I've got an emperor here that wants to come and talk to you. Um, I see somebody flying in to talk. I really do. Uh, yeah, this emperor energy. So what is this all about for Cancer Divine? What do you have for Cancer? This person wants to utilize every tool at their disposal in order to change something around. Um, I feel like this person, they could have had someone else on the side that, ooh, what's this one? Yeah. Third party situations, too many women, too much immature use of their wand. I feel like this person um, has recently found out that they may have a, a, an STD here. Possibly picked up by, by a, a queen of wands and a third, a bunch of partiers or something like that. Going out, there's too many women here this person was entertaining. And I feel like they picked, they picked up an STD here. And nobody knows. Oh, ho, ho. and nobody knows but me. Right? Exactly. I feel like that's kind of what they're thinking here. I don't think they're real happy either. Um, Yeah, I feel like uh, this person would do just about anything to turn this one around. Yeah, that's their secret, maybe. Um, deceptive energy here. I feel like this person's planning something, too. Uh, planning to communicate, get together with you. Um, this is kind of like, I feel like a sneaky energy, though, coming off of this. This could be manipulation. This is your energy here. I feel like you're moving forward. You're like, no, no, I'm not touching that. <laughs> right? 
right? I feel like this person may have picked up an STD and nobody knows but them. And they're, yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling like. You're moving forward. Yeah, it was weird. I, I, I couldn't quite fit the song with you, Cancer. I feel like it's your person. Um, I feel like they have a secret. And nobody knows but me. Right? I think they've got possibly an STD. Right? <laughs> Sorry. It's not funny. It's just... It's just me, Cancer. I am in a mood. I'm really sorry. Uh, it's fun with music, okay? Anyway, um, yeah, this person is, I feel like they're watching you. I feel like um, they've got something to say here. They're getting ready to talk. They want to talk. talk to somebody really fast. They're upset here. Yeah, but they don't want, it's like they are afraid to confront. This is having poor health, too. I feel like this person, they may have used this wand on, they could have used this wand on, on, a, on a lot of other people. Okay? Um, but they're watching you leave. You're the one that they actually want. And um, I feel like they picked something up here, though. This is, I have two STD cards in all of my decks this is one of them okay um yeah yeah i feel like they're in poor health and you're leaving the scene it's like they want to talk to you about it really bad um i i feel like they just want to talk to you about it really bad they they i feel like they know that you you could be strong enough to handle the information but they just don't want to come forward with it you know i feel like this person is trying to keep it a secret we got the temperance angel out here urging this person you know just just try just try see the temperance angel i feel always urges someone to just stick their toe in and see what can happen and and they're you know they're they're mixing the soulmate connections up here um but i don't know what they have that's just it like i feel like the divine still wants this person to come forward and talk to you about all the horrible ways they treated you but I feel like um, they may be deceptive in the fact that they may not tell you everything. I do feel like they're gonna um, they're gonna take some action here. They're planning, making a plan to come forward towards you, meet up, you know. But this person is finding out that they could very well have an STD, and nobody knows but them. Okay. Right now, nobody knows but them, which is uh, unnerving, you know. Um, yeah, play your energy. That's their focus. Look at what I've gone and gotten myself into. Exactly. Exactly. I feel like they sabotaged themselves here. Um, you know, they could be like thinking to themselves that you block them. I could I, this could be block communication between both of you because they've sabotaged you too in the past, right? I don't think you you're having a victory out here. You're all right. You're you're not I don't I feel like you're fine, but this person here bad health, poor health feeling tired, exhausted, knowing they used this wand a bit too many times, got something, caught something, right? Player energy, in and out, immature energy. They're having to take a look at that behavior. That's what I'm seeing. They're looking at that behavior or, yeah. I feel like somebody blocked, they, somebody else could have sabotaged this connection, but then again, this person was a player, you know? 
I feel like this is somebody who liked to have their cake and eat it too. And now I feel like they're upset by the information that they're finding out, realizing maybe they, they shouldn't have been out there playing around, you know. This is someone who had, I feel, a lot of other, a lot of um, women, a lot of feminine energies here in that picture. Yeah, this person knows that you were sabotaged. They want to come towards you, but they know that they've got, they had you, they had you in a mental, in a mental prison. They sabotaged this connection and just ghosted you and abandoned you like all the others here, I feel. And now it's like you're the one that they want. You're the one that they that they want. They want to decide to go your way now, okay? After looking at what their behavior gave them, okay? Yeah, investing into... I feel like they want to invest into you now. You're like, no, 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 no. I don't want anything to do with this. That's what Cancer's saying. But I do feel like they may try to hide that from you. Um, if, they, if they do come in and try to use this wand as a male phallic in order to be intimate and they have an STD, it will get you trapped in your mind. But I feel like this is just what they're thinking about. How do I, how do I come back in after using and playing my Cancer here? getting them stuck in their mind, allowing others maybe to sabotage this connection, right? Because I, and they were selfish as well and then kept you in stagnancy. Now they want to come. Now they want to choose you. Now they want to choose you. And I feel like invest into you here, Cancer, but it, it may be too late for this person. If they have this health issue okay yeah I feel like you know that I feel like they also know with the high priestess energy here they can't keep things from you uh, I feel like they can't keep it from you you're gonna see the red flags you're gonna know something's up you're very intuitive this is the most intuitive person in the deck cancer this is you high priestess energy and I, I feel like um, they know that you're going to figure this out. They're, you're going to, because it all falls down under them getting an STD, them not wanting to tell you about it, and you knowing about it. Okay? It lines up perfectly. It lines up perfectly. Okay? So, yeah, this person, I feel like they already know how intuitive you are. And if they don't and they come forward with this very important information that you need to know to protect yourself, right? I feel like they're going to try to hide it. And you're going to just know something's going to go off in your head, okay? Some kind of red flag, some kind of alarm, something that this person's hiding something big that could very well hurt you, okay? But they don't want you to leave. They're, now they're choosing you because you were the good one, right? You're the one, you're clean, you're pure here as the high priestess, very connected to the divine and God and spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Be very careful. Use your discernment with everyone who comes towards you. Because I feel like this person will eventually come towards you, but they're not bringing the whole truth. They're being deceptive. And it's a plan because they, they don't want to tell you. Nobody knows. Nobody knows but me. That's what they're saying. They want to keep it a secret. Secrets, right? High Priestess Energy. I usually, you know, she does stand for secrets, right? Because the High Priestess is a secret keeper for the divine. I just, I always see this as a person, someone extremely intuitive. But yeah, this person's going to keep it, keep it a secret. I'm telling you, Cancer, please be careful. Jeez. 
And honestly, they know. Nobody knows but them. They know. And if they use this wand on you, they'll give it to you. And they know. And that's sick. All right, so please be very careful with around everybody, okay? Everyone. I get the feeling that you're kind of, that you're like celibate right now, though, to be honest with you, because in the high priestess energy, I feel like um you're on such a powerful soul journey, you know, um with the divine that you've been celibate uh for quite some time. I don't think you have any interest in the wand especially if it's diseased okay yeah they're gonna keep something hidden from you look they're gonna try their best to keep it hidden to keep it hidden this is not wanting to tell you not really wanting to confront the situation okay um this is going within keeping things within Keeping it a secret. This is secrets and also you using your intuition. And this is keeping things hidden. I'm telling you, this person has an STD cancer. Please be careful. Use your discernment. Use your intuition, man. Any red signs? I see you moving forward. I really do. I see you like, no, right? Yeah. That's what I'm seeing here. The definite health issue here, right underneath my STD card. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. This can also stand for going to the doctor. Okay? With this gown. I'm telling you, man. Getting test results here. I'm telling you. Yeah. Just be careful, Cancer, okay? Because I love you and... This person is going to hide the fact that they have an STD and they're, I feel like they may come your way, all right? Anyway, guys, listen, I am going to take this into the extended. Thank you, Divine. Number one, I just want to thank my spirit guides for giving me that song. So, because I couldn't quite figure it out, okay? I, you're not in a, dis, in a depressive state. I couldn't figure it out, and they just leaded me through that whole entire thing because I was kind of confused. So thank you, spirit guides. And anyway, um, cancers, I'm taking this over to the extended, all right? If you're interested in seeing the extended, there's a link to follow at the bottom of my description box that'll take you right to Patreon. And I'm sorry, guys. It's just that this to me is sick. They know that they have something, and they're coming. they're coming to you. I just... I I cannot. So anyway, guys, I love you. Please be careful, okay? And um, if you like this video, please click that like button, guys. We need the likes. Please click the like button. Push this message out farther, okay? And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I love you, Cancers. I love you so much. Listen, take care of you, my darlings and peace out.